The Minnesota DNR is looking for outdoor lovers looking to start a new career. So the agency is looking to train and hire new conservation officers. First of four, Derek James learned it's a pathway for people without previous law enforcement experience to move into the job. Minnesotans love the outdoors. We know that. How about getting paid to be outside and protect our natural resources? The Minnesota DNR is hiring conservation officers and they'll even train you to do it. I'm joined now by Garrett Thomas. You've been an officer for what, about five years now? Yeah, that's exactly right. It's definitely, you hit the nail on the head. If you like the outdoors, you like uh, being on the lakes and the rivers and in the woods, it's, it's certainly an opportunity that uh, is great for anyone that, that has that demeanor. How did you discover this career? So kind of a unique story for my background is I actually was an active duty military guy uh, stationed out in California and my neighbor happened to be a California game warden. Uh, ironically, my wife was from Minnesota, so uh, the plan is, was act, after active duty to kind of move back to where she was from. Um, and so the, with my contact out there, he kind of got me interested in it and uh, thought, hey, you know, they're going to pay me to do all the things that I normally like to do, be outside, you know, be on the lakes and rivers and that type of thing. And um, kind of connected with Minnesota and went through the similar process that we're hiring now, uh, the SEAL prep process, and, you know, got my start that way. Tell me about that training program. Yeah, it's a really interesting program. It's one that's fairly new. Um, here in Minnesota, as conservation officers, we're, we're very much uh, community staples. You know, we're community policing uh, kind of at its, at its finest. There's only one of us every couple hundred square miles. So you, you really get involved in the communities that you work in. And, uh, you know, the big, the big pull is to try to, you know, represent the communities that we work in. You know, we want to have a very diverse group of COs throughout the state. Uh, so what the state did is they made a program that was aimed at uh, grabbing applicants that weren't traditionally law enforcement officers. You know, they don't have their police officer's license already. So in, in this group of uh, hiring process, the state will pay you to get your law enforcement license. You just have to have a two-year degree uh, to satisfy some of the other education requirements for the state. As someone who's done this for five years, what are some of the skills that you feel make a good conservation officer? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think some of the best things are communication. You know, a lot of times we're working uh, alone and outdoors, um, and so you have to kind of figure out things as you go, which I think a lot of us enjoy the challenge of. Um, so I think, yeah, communication and, and just being able to be willing to be self-driven and, and be a member of your community because you get involved in pretty much every aspect of outdoors and community engagement uh, that you can think of. What's the coolest thing you get to do throughout the year? Well, I think it's definitely the ability to, you know, the state will give you a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile, and, and your job is to go patrol the outdoors and find where people are recreating. And, you know, we get to have a lot of good good and fun conversations with families out there just enjoying the outdoors and, and uh, you know, talking about the community. So I think we all really enjoy that part of it. Now, if someone's interested in this program, there's an event happening tomorrow, and you'll be one of the folks there that people can talk to and learn more. Yeah, absolutely. We have two uh, big open house events where there'll be a, a variety of us there answering questions. Uh, one of them is tomorrow in St. Paul in the afternoon, you know, 4 to 7 p.m. at the DNR Central Office building, and the other one is on the 20th up in Cloquet at a community college up there. So um, the, they, the, they've been pushing out some hiring bulletins for those type of things. So yeah, certainly come by there, ask questions, and yeah, we'll all be there shaking hands and, and uh, hoping to meet you. Awesome. Garrett, thank you for the time, and also thank you for your previous service, too. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. And if you're interested in the CO prep program, they haven't, uh, you have until March 31st to apply. The application and open house details are on our website, wcco.com links.